Welcome to Dropshipping on Etsy, your full step-by-step -step guide that will take you from no experience to a professional online seller. From creating your seller account to understanding Etsy's selling fees, what we can and cannot sell, researching and importing winning products to sell, processing orders, handling customer service, and so much more, this video tutorial has it all. And now with full automation, you can put your Etsy business on autopilot and let it work for you. I'll also provide you with an Etsy dropshipping cheat sheet with everything that I'm going over in this video, all of the step-by-step -step information, tutorials, resources, tools, and links so that you can start your business the right way and have everything that you need to succeed. So grab your cup of coffee and prepare for takeoff. Quick intro and let's go. And welcome back, I'm Liran, the content manager here at AutoDS. And a quick reminder before we get started, if you haven't done so yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel and enable those bell notifications and join over 65,000 other subscribers who are getting their dropshipping information daily from our YouTube channel, whether it be what products to sell, full step-by-step -step tutorials, dropshipping success stories, interviews, live webinars, and so much more that we have going on. So subscribe to our channel, enable those bell notifications, and let's get this party started. Now, before we dive down the Etsy rabbit hole, I want to explain to you why I love Etsy as a marketplace so, so much. One of the reasons is that you can really start with anywhere between zero to five dollars as an initial startup investment, start making sales, and then use the profits from those sales to further grow your store, further enhance your product research methods, and further grow your dropshipping business. There are no commitments, no store subscriptions needed of any kind. Another thing is that Etsy is an open marketplace and they have millions and millions of customers that will Will reach your product listing even as soon as you list it. It's very similar to other marketplaces like eBay and Facebook Marketplace that give you free organic traffic. So as soon as you list an item and the item is something that people are looking for, they're going to find your listing even if you do not use any marketing methods whatsoever. So it's really easy and really cheap to get started, but you need to know how to do it the right way, which is exactly what I'm about to walk you through. I'm going to send you this Etsy dropshipping cheat sheet, including everything that I'm going over in this video. If you want access to it, all you have to do is comment hashtag Etsy 2023. Let me know what you learned from this video, what your top takeaway is, and I'll be more than happy to send you this cheat sheet with everything included inside. But do not request it until you finish watching this video and you understand how to do everything step by step. And if you're wondering if Etsy is a good long term investment for your business, this graph right here shows you how the popularity of Etsy is increasing over time. So this is a five year timeline period. And as you see, it's increasing year by year. But more than that, we can see Etsy's revenue right here. So in 2015, which was about eight years ago, Etsy's yearly revenue was $0.27 billion. And ever since 2019, you can see a large, sharp increase. Whereas in 2022, Etsy's annual revenue closed at $2.57 billion. So you can see the huge increase year by year. And believe me, Etsy is not going anywhere. And now you can easily start selling on Etsy and automate your whole dropshipping business while you're at it. So let's go ahead and start from step number one. In order to start selling on Etsy, the first thing that you need to do is register for your Etsy seller account. It's absolutely free and it's easy to do. So just head over to Etsy's website or click on create an Etsy seller account in the dropshipping cheat sheet, then click on get started, enter your email address and your designated password. And that's how easy it is to sign up with a free Etsy account. And as you can see right here on the top right, you should already be logged into Etsy. Now scroll to the bottom and you'll see open your Etsy shop. So we're going to go ahead and click on that link. Then it's going to give you a nice little welcome sign. We're going to click on let's do this. Then you can fill in a small questionnaire, but I'm going to go with skip these questions and start my shop. My shop language is in English. The shop country is whatever country you reside in. And the shop currency is what currency you want to use on your shop. And in most cases, we're going to go with the United States dollar. Then I'm going to click on save and continue. Now I can name my shop. So you can use a business name generator. You can use ChatGPT to help you generate a store name for your shop. Or maybe you have no idea what your shop name is going to be. You can always skip this and come back later or write a shop name, regret it later and change it to whatever else you want. So I'm going to call it 
pet shop maybe boutique already taken but it's going to give me a whole bunch of names recommended names that i can use so i'm just going to go with one of them like pet shop boutique co or company great thinking the name is available let's go ahead and click on save and continue now in order to continue we'll need to add a product to our store now i will show you how you can do everything with automation and import products from your suppliers but in this case we'll need to upload a product that we have laying around our home just so that we can list our first listing on Etsy. Now, I'm not gonna do it now in this video tutorial, but it's actually very, very simple. So take some photos of the product that you wanna sell, anything that you have laying around the house, but it has to be with the products that Etsy actually allows you to sell, which I will go over soon. Okay, so then you're gonna give the item a title, who made it, if it's something that you created, it's even better, but if not, you can choose another company or person. What is it, a finished product or a supplier or tool to make things? And when did you make it or when was it made if you went with another company or person? Then fit it under its category, Write a quick product description, give it a price, and continue scrolling down so that you can finish uploading your first Etsy product manually. Under country of origin, write the country that you're shipping it out of. Now, most likely, you're not gonna make a sell on this product unless, of course, it's something that people are actually looking for, but we wanna do this just so that we can get to the Etsy shop manager. So put in the country, the postal code, and the processing time, how long it will take you to ship out the product if it sells. Then you've got your shipping options. So you've got the shipping service, how long it will take the package to deliver after it was shipped. So here, for example, you can go with five to 10 business days, or depending on how long it will take your item to reach your buyer. So you're either gonna go with free shipping or you're gonna charge for shipping. So the first one is for domestic. So this is if I have a domestic sale and the other one everywhere else is if I was able to sell it to another country in a different location. So same thing, shipping service, delivery time, and what you'll charge if you'll charge for shipping. Then you can save this as a shipping profile, but because you added this product from your home and now you're not gonna add any more products from home, you don't really need to save this shipping profile unless you want to keep listing items and selling them from the comfort of your own home. Now, if I scroll down to the bottom, you'll also see that Etsy provides us with easy shipping policies as templates. So here I can get started with a simple policy, returns and exchanges in 30 days. So this means that the buyer can return or exchange this item within 30 days. The buyer is responsible for return shipping costs, meaning the buyer is going to pay for the return shipping and buyer is responsible for loss in value if the item isn't returned in original conditions. But we're gonna go over all of this. You can also create your own policy from here or you can do it from the shop manager after you import this product. Then you're gonna click on save and continue and your first product will be listed. But now that you understand how to list a product on Etsy really, really quickly, just so that you can get to your shop manager, we're gonna get to the interesting part after you imported your first product. Now, after you're listing your first item and you get to Etsy's shop manager, which looks like this, where we have all these options, all these menus that I'm gonna go over soon, you will need to pass through a verification process. Now, this really isn't much of a problem. I did it really, really quickly on my account and got verified within a day. The verification on Etsy requires the following. First, your personal information. So your name, your address, email address, phone number, etc. Then your payment and your bank information. So you're gonna have to provide Etsy with your bank information, which it's going to use to process your payouts and send you your payments from your customers directly to your bank account. They're also gonna need a credit card on file and they're going to need to verify your bank information, but that's only after you make your first sale. Besides that, they'll ask for a government issued ID, and that's pretty much it for the verification process. So if you have all those, and 99.5% of us have all those, it shouldn't be any problem to verify your account on Etsy. But if you wanna go more in depth, I have a link inside the cheat sheet taking you to the verification process on Etsy and everything that you need to know about it. And besides that, I also left a link to Etsy's selling policies so that you can learn all the ins and outs and new updates that Etsy comes out with all the time regarding Etsy selling policies, which of course applies to you and me the sellers on Etsy. But how exactly do Etsy selling fees work? First, we have a listing fee, which as I explained, costs 20 cents. So for every time you wanna add a listing to your store, there are no store subscriptions like on eBay, where you'll have to purchase a subscription so that you can use that to add more listings. Here, there are no subscriptions. You can cancel any time but you will pay 20 cents for every time you list a product for sale on Etsy. This means that you're probably better off not listing 2,000 products to test all at once, but you will start slowly, see what Etsy's customers like, and then add more products similar to those so that you'll have a higher chance of selling and make more and more profit, and you won't even have to worry about those 20 cent expenses. Now, the listing renews every four months or every time you make a sell. So if you sold a product, it's going to relist itself and you're gonna pay another 20 cents, 
or if four months have passed and you have the auto listing renewal set up in your settings, then the listing will renew itself automatically every four months and you will pay another 20 cents. And that's it when it comes to listing fees. Now, when you make a sale, then Etsy is going to shave off 6.5%, so 6.5% from the transaction price, Etsy is going to take that as a transaction fee. Now, besides the transaction fee, there's also a payment processing fee because Etsy is also going to help you with the payments. There's an Etsy payment solution. I'm going to talk about that soon. And in any case, depending on where you live around the world, that's usually going to come around three to 4.5% in addition to the six and a half percent, plus another about fixed 30 cents off of the transaction fee. So your fees total to around 10 to 11% from the transaction price plus another 30 cents. And of course you have to take more fees on top of that like when you're purchasing the product from your supplier and let's say the product costs $20, you're probably gonna also pay sales tax to that supplier. So it's gonna be $20 plus another about 10% on that plus your 6.5% plus 3.5% from the transaction fee and that added 30 cents. So if you ask me, I would make my break even on Etsy around 15% or 20% because we also want to account for the tax that we're going to pay our suppliers. And on top of that, you're going to add your added profit. Now, in most cases, you're not really going to reach a break even of 20%. I went really far on that one, but I like doing that because it's easy to make dropshipping sales, easy to make substantial profits doing it. And I've been doing it for over six years now. And it's always better to take more into consideration into your break even. And in the worst case, if you really had to pay all those expenses, you'll still be in the very profitable zone. Now, besides the transaction and payment profit, processing fees. We also have Etsy ad fees and that's only if we're running ads, but we'll also run ads automatically without us even knowing it. So pay attention closely to this one. So your Etsy ad fees is only if you want to enable Etsy ads. So running ads on your products, telling Etsy, hey, run ads on these products, take my money and get me some sales. So here on the Etsy sales manager dashboard, you see that we have the marketing section and here I can run Etsy ads, reach more buyers with Etsy ads. So I would just click on get started and start running ads on my products, have Etsy promote it so that more buyers will be able to see it. And of course, I'll get more clicks and more sales this way. Of course, that will come with a budget and we're not gonna talk much about that in this video, only that that's one part of your fees if you want to run ads but besides that there's also ads that etsy is going to run for you automatically even if you didn't know it and that's why watching this video is going to be so valuable to you there's this thing called off-site ad fees so etsy will advertise your listings on places outside of etsy like search engines like google and bing and when a customer makes a purchase by clicking on one of those off-site ads an additional fee of 15 percent will apply to your transaction fees. Now, this happens automatically to all sellers on Etsy who sold over $10,000 in revenue in sales in the last year. So if any time in the past 365 days, you made over $10,000 in Etsy sales and you will, you're going to automatically enroll in Etsy's offsite ads. Now you can always opt out of it. So all you have to do is reach out to Etsy's customer service, let them know that you would like to opt out of offsite ads and they will do so for you. But that's a little thing that Etsy does that most people don't actually know about it and then they end up paying 15% plus 6.5% plus 4.5% and many who have a low profit margin end up seeing no profits at all from those sales that came from offsite ads. So take that into consideration after you pass $10,000 in sales in a given calendar year. And besides that, you also have the Etsy Plus program, which is completely optional, which costs $10 a month. It'll give you 15 listing credits, which costs around $3, and you'll get five more dollars in Etsy ad credits, plus some more tools and resources that Etsy will give the Etsy Plus program members. I don't think it's worth it at this point, especially not for drop shippers, but if you want it, that's how much it's going to cost you. Okay, phew, now that we understand Etsy's selling fees, Let's understand dropshipping and how it all comes together. Then I'll take you to the Etsy shop manager and show you step-by-step -step every menu that you have under your seller account. Quick reminder, if you want access to this Etsy dropshipping cheat sheet with everything that I'm going over in this video, all the resources, all the tools, all the links that I still haven't shared with you yet, all you have to do is comment right below this video, hashtag Etsy 2023. Let me know what you learned from this video. What is your top takeaway? And this cheat sheet is yours up for grabs. So now let's go over the Etsy 
Etsy shop manager. Here we have all the menus and everything that we'll need to manage our Etsy dropshipping business before I talk about dropshipping automation. Dropshipping is a business model that will allow you to host an online store, have an online store like here on Etsy for example, list products from dropshipping suppliers, meaning you don't have to hold anything in stock, so I can have my Etsy store, have all my suppliers, research winning products to sell, import them to my Etsy store, and only after a customer purchases it from my Etsy store, only then will I go to my supplier's website, purchase the product, and send it directly to my end customer. Then I will keep the profit between what I'm paying the supplier to what the buyer paid me on Etsy. So it's a very low risk, high reward business model, and that is why I've been dropshipping for over six years, and now let's see how we can connect it all to Etsy. But first, let's understand Etsy's shop manager. So first, we have the dashboard which shows us how many views our listings got, how many visits to our store, how many orders, how much revenue, and a few more insights like people who put our items in their favorite lists and people who put our shops in their favorite list. So that is a dashboard, a small overview of what's going on in your business. Then we've got the listings. So here you can see all of your open and active listings, but you can also see that on AutoDS, which I will show you soon. Then you've got your messages. So messages that you're getting from Etsy, messages that you're getting from your buyers, you're gonna see that under the messages screen. Then we've got orders and delivery. So all of the orders that you're gonna get from your customers are going to show up here, as well as your AutoDS account, which I haven't showed you yet. Then you've got stuff Star seller. Just like how eBay has top rated sellers, Etsy also has star sellers. They'll give you an icon next to your name and this way you'll get better search rank results on Etsy, more listing views, the buyers will know that you're a star seller on Etsy and that will ultimately lead to more sales. For star seller eligibility, you need to have a 95% and above message response rate, a 4.8 and above product rating, so customers who are purchasing your products and leaving you positive ratings. 95% shipping and delivery on time. So 95% of your orders need to be shipped and delivered on time according to your store policies. And a minimum of five orders and a minimum of $200 in sales. It's really not that hard to be an Etsy star seller. Then you've got your store stats and analytics. So who's visiting my store, how they got to my store, customer behaviors, and so forth. Then you've got your finances. So this is where you have your payment settings, your monthly statements. And here, for example, you see that I have a small account to pay for Etsy. And if you wanna know exactly what you have to pay for, you can just scroll down a little and see your recent activities. So here it's mainly for listing listings. As you see right here, this is the price I paid on this account for every listing. So listing fee 20 cents, listing fee 20 cents, listing fee 20 cents, and that is that 20 cent listing fee that I was talking about. Then we have the marketing section, which I showed you a couple minutes ago, but here you can run your ads, you can create sales and discounts so that your buyers will be able to use promo codes. This will also help you bring customers back. So it will send offers to buyers who purchased from your store. Etsy will Will also help you with abandoned carts. So if a buyer added one of your listings to their carts and then they just went away without purchasing, Etsy will send them a small reminder to come back and purchase from your store and also turning favorites into orders. So I just showed you an example where a buyer added one of my items to their favorites lists. So it's to their watching list, to their favorite list, call it whatever you want. You can send an offer to those buyers who put your items on their watch lists. And this way you're convincing them to come back, get a discount code or whatever it may take to get you to purchase that item that you added to your favorite list. So that is the marketing section. Then you've got the integrations and integrations is just like how the Shopify app store has Shopify apps. Well, the Etsy app store has Etsy apps and this is what it looks like. So you can download and install marketing apps to help you market your store like social media apps, email marketing apps to send emails to your Etsy buyers and so forth. And you've also got some SEO apps to help you rank even higher with your listings so that you'll get more traffic and more sales. And there are also apps to help you manage your bookkeeping and taxes, as well as managing your inventory and analytics. And thankfully, you also have AutoDS for that. But that is what the integrations is for. And it's a good thing to have after you create your store and you're looking for those extra add-ons to take you that extra mile. Then you've got community and help. So if you want to open up a help ticket, if you want to see what the community wrote about, so if you need help on something that they are resolved for you, you can go read it there. Then you 
you've got your store setting. So this is where you can add that Etsy Plus subscription, but it's really not needed, at least not work for when you're starting off. The info and appearance of your shop. You can also write the about us section here so buyers can see exactly what your business is all about and more things like your delivery settings, your store policies, if you accept returns, paid returns, free returns, shipping policies, and so forth. Where here you can also opt out of offsite ads if you don't want to reach out to Etsy's customer support to do it, or if you don't want to wait for Etsy to do it automatically before you opt out, just do it here in advance and you won't have to worry about it later. And you also have Facebook shops, so you can integrate your Etsy store on Facebook shops and list the same items that you have on Etsy on your Facebook shop store easily and start getting sales from both directions. So that's a brief overview of the Etsy shops manager. Okay, lots of explanations, but it's important to know how to start the right way. Now let's go over what we're allowed to sell on Etsy, what we're not allowed to sell, so that this way we'll make sure to live up to Etsy standards and keep our seller account alive for a long, long time moving forward and simply stay here for the long run. So what exactly is it that we're allowed to sell on Etsy? Etsy is a marketplace that's focused primarily on handmade items, vintage and retro goods, craft supplies, and party favors. All of these can be split into different categories, such as jewelry, clothing, home goods, party invitations, gifts, etc. Now with dropshipping, it's easy to find suppliers that sell thousands and thousands and thousands of products under these categories. But on the other hand, you do not want to list items that are not handmade, vintage, retro, craft supplies, or party favors, even if you see other sellers who are doing it. Now, I even reached out myself to Etsy's customer support and I asked them, if this is what it says that we can sell in your policies, how come I can see sellers who are listing this and this and this and that, which have nothing to do with these items? And they simply got back to me and said, hey, you know, it's only a matter of time before we scan those seller sites and we shut them down. Sell only these types of items and that way you won't have any problems selling on Etsy. And that is what makes Etsy stand out. It is a handcraft, vintage, retro website or marketplace selling only these types of items. So for example, Etsy does not allow selling electronics, but I can still see sellers who are selling them. Now, some of them are trying to get smart by selling, for example, speakers that are retro speakers. So it's kind of a gray area, but I would say take no risks, stay under these categories. You have so many products in demand that you can sell under these categories. And I'm going to show you some of the best winning products soon. Now, as I promised, product research. This is one of the most important parts because you need to sell the right items. After you registered your account, after you passed all the verification, this is the next step, knowing what products you want to sell on your Etsy store. And since you know that each listing is going to cost you 20 cents to list, you're not going to go random and start adding so many products to your store. Etsy does not have any selling limits. You can list as much as you want from day one, which is great. But if your product research is not top notch, you're going to end up spending a lot more money before you start seeing those sales and profits. So here is where we're going to narrow down our product research and really pin it down to the items that have the highest probability of selling on our Etsy store. And of course, items that go under the items that we are allowed to sell on Etsy. So let's go over product research. Now, remember when researching for products, make sure that they are either handmade, vintage, retro, craft supplies like DIY projects and party favors. Now, remember those as you go through your product research phase. The first method that I want to show you is the AutoDS winning products hub. We have the winning products hub right here on the left side, and this shows you proven winning products. Now let's see what we can find that fits Etsy's policies on items that we can sell. Like this one right here, this wooden couple figurine craft. It's a handmade item. This one is very fitting to sell on Etsy. And once I clicked on it, you can see that we have more product information inside. We got all the images right here. We've got the product information right here. We've got the potential profit, how much profit we can make selling this item when we compare it to this seller right here with the Facebook ads that we are showing on each of these products. So this is an ad that a seller is running on this product. And as you can see, They've got over 72,000 engagements, over 4,000 comments, over 6,000 shares. So you know that this product right here is popular. And right here on the AutoDS Insights, you have a brief explanation on the Facebook ad, the seller's website, what he's doing well, what you can do better. And you can also click on the link to go to the seller's website and see how he's selling the product, what he's doing on his product page, how he's trying to make it look good for the customer to buy. And this will give you a good indication of what you can do better so that you'll have a higher chance of making more sales than this seller. And if you would sell it at the same price that he is selling right here at $23.99, you can make almost $20 in profit because 
this is a really cheap one to two to three dollar item maybe all you have to do is click on the import draft right here and it will import to your etsy store but first you have to add the etsy store which we're going to get to soon but this is product research method number one this is where you can find proven winning products with audience targeting tips with the seller's facebook ads with the seller's websites and all that information that you need in order to do a much better job than these sellers here's another example we've got this 208 piece kids drawing set so this goes under arts and crafts which of course is very suitable for selling on etsy we can drop ship this item for around 28 dollars and as we can see right here we've got a seller who's got about 5,000 engagements on his facebook ad on this very same product and here is his website where we can see him selling it for 24.99 before the shipping price and again another example of how to target audiences if we want to market this product but at the end of the day it's as easy as clicking import draft then this product will import to your Etsy store where you can optimize it before having it go live and selling another proven winner. So once again, this is the number one product research tool for finding trending products to sell right now and importing them to your store in just a click. Now, if that's not enough, or if you don't have an AutoDia subscription, but you still want winning products, proven winning products, the second and third product research methods is the AutoDS blog under the product finding category, which is what we're seeing right here, as well as the sell these now YouTube playlist. So if you're the type that likes to watch, go to the YouTube playlist. We've got all the links in the Etsy dropshipping cheat sheet. This is the sell these now playlist where you have tons and tons and tons of winning products that's updating constantly all the time with our huge database of winning and trending products. And back to the blog page under the product finding category. Here you have the best items to sell with full product analytics and everything that you need and fresh new articles coming out all the time. We've got between two to five new articles and new videos coming out every week. So go to our blog page, subscribe to our YouTube channel and grab hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of winning products that are trending right now. All of this information is absolutely free. We just want you to succeed in your dropshipping journey. Product research method number four is the AliExpress Dropshipping Center, another great place to find winning product ideas to sell in your stores. So we have a link to the AliExpress Dropshipping Center article. You also have the video embedded inside. And of course, you also have a link to the AliExpress Dropshipping Center. And here in the Dropshipping Center, we can see a whole bunch of products that are trending right now on AliExpress. And we can get these product ideas to further enhance our product research strategy to get more product ideas of products that we want to sell and then of course we don't have to buy them through aliexpress we can use other dropshipping suppliers and import their winning products that we got their ideas from the aliexpress dropshipping center so as you see right here i'm just browsing through the dropshipping center and as i hover over every product you can see that we have a sales history chart showing us how well the product is selling and trending right now as well as the product ratings. So as soon as I hover over a product, I can see all this information, including the product rating, how much it sold, and how much it grew in the last seven days. Now, remember when you're doing this product research, when you're getting these product ideas, make sure that it falls under the products that we can sell on Etsy, which I went through a few times in this video. To make it even easier, you can choose a specific category to help you narrow down to those types of products for example, let's type in jewelry and we've got jewelry and accessories. Search for that and here are the results. And these are great items that I can start selling on Etsy right now. Here is even a really good example where it has a vintage look on a bracelet and that's just another great example that we can get from the AliExpress dropshipping center. Now, the next product research method that I want to show you is simply using Etsy's top sellers. So here on Etsy's website, I'm simply going to click on these categories and see what some of the best selling items are inside just to kind of get an idea of what Etsy's customers like to buy. So here, for example, I'm going to click on DIY do it yourself and crafts. And here Etsy is first showing me this seller right here. So it's probably a sponsored ad, right? So uh, an ad that Etsy's running, even though I don't see sponsored anywhere here, but they're really showcasing this product before everyone else under DIY and craft. But as I scroll down, I can get much more product ideas. And as you see, as I hover over them, sellers who add a video to their listing will have it automatically seen as soon as I hover over the product, as you can see right here. Okay, but here we can get some examples of DIY craft 
crafts that people like to buy. In this case, I'm seeing a lot of fabrics, but not only that, we can see some woodworking over here. But in this case, we have a nice range of different types of DIY products that are selling a lot from these Etsy sellers, like this really easy to find do-it-yourself bracelet kits. And it's really easy to find these listings. So what I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna get the idea from Etsy. I'm gonna copy the product's name. So in this case, it's a jewelry making kit beads. I know that it's selling really well because this seller right here sold this item 998 times and he's got a five star rating then i'm gonna head over to autods.com autods is the number one dropshipping automation tool which i will talk about soon but for now you're gonna go to autods.com and you're gonna click on the suppliers button right up here. And here you can see over 25 dropshipping suppliers that you can use to go and find products on their websites and import them to your Etsy stores. So this gives you access to tens of millions of products that you can resell. So once again, it's as easy as going to their website, finding the product that you wanna buy. For example, let's go to CJ Dropshipping, which is a great wholesaler. And here I'm going to search for jewelry making kit beads. And here, as you can see, I've got a lot of listings that are jewelry kit making beads, and I can easily, easily add them to my Etsy store and start selling. And as you can see, they're really, really cheap. I can get them from $2.18, $3.37, and so forth. So it's really cheap, and we can easily compete with these types of sellers that are making lots of sales. Sorry for the wrong currency. Etsy's showing the localized currency, but this one is selling for around $9 to $10. And you can see we can buy it for around 2 to 3 Another product research method that I didn't talk about and I didn't even add it to the cheat sheet is the AutoDS private suppliers. So if I click here on Marketplace and not on the winning products, you'll have more products that you can sell, as you can see right here. So you can continue searching for trending products to sell using the marketplace. Now the marketplace doesn't have all of the Facebook ads and the analytics and everything that I showed you inside the winning product section, but this one has lots and lots of trending products. And as you can see, you also have private warehouses, meaning we teamed up with private wholesale suppliers that are adding their products to the AutoDS marketplace where only you, the AutoDS member, will have access to import them to your store and sell them. And as soon as an order comes in, the order will be processed automatically for you. So all that you have to do is sit back, relax, watch your orders get processed and watch the profits start to roll in. On top of that, you also have the branding option. So if you see right here, it says branding logo coming from the AutoDS warehouse because we also have our own private warehouse with thousands of trending products. When you make a sale on one of these products, you can easily add your logo. So we'll ship out these products with your logo and you don't have to have any minimum order quantity. So here, for example, if I'm gonna sell these pants right here with the pockets for your mobile phones, you can see that it says branding logo and this is an AutoDS supplier with discounted prices. Here on the right side, I can click on add now to add my store logo. Then I'm gonna click right here to upload or drag and drop that logo right here under my store settings. And that's it. When an order comes in and I've got branding logo, it's gonna come out with my brand. So the customer will remember my store, remember my name and refer their friends and their family to purchase from my professional dropshipping store. So now that you have a great idea on where to find your trending products to sell on Etsy, let's talk about the products that we cannot sell. We talked about what we can sell. What we can't sell is every other product in every other category that I didn't mention that you can sell. But on top of that, on the products that you can sell, make sure that none of them have hazardous materials, have liquids, have anything to do with medicines, vitamins, supplements, items that have a choking hazard, items that are related to tobacco, to firearms, weapons, ammunition, things like that. Stay completely away from those products, even if they go under arts and crafts or do-it-yourself, jewelry, and things like that. Now that we understand the ins and outs, we understand how to start our seller accounts on Etsy. We understand Etsy's selling fees. We know how to conduct product research, and we've got wonderful, wonderful methods to find finding, sourcing, and selling the best products that will sell on our Etsy accounts, let's start to learn how to actually start selling on Etsy. So step number one is of course to create your Etsy seller account. I showed you how to do that somewhere in the beginning of this video. The next step is to connect your Etsy account to AutoDS. And the reason that you wanna connect with AutoDS 
is so that you can automate all of your Etsy dropshipping business, including importing products in just the click of a button from any one of our supported dropshipping suppliers to automating your pricing settings, having automatic price and stock monitoring. So if the price or the stock status changes on any one of my suppliers, it will also change automatically on my Etsy store without me having to intervene. And on top of that, we also have automatic orders. So as soon as an order comes in, it can be processed for you automatically, even while you're traveling, even while you're sleeping, and a full business overview dashboard and so much more that we have in the world's number one dropshipping automation tool. And the best part is, just like Etsy is super, super cheap to get started with, so is AutoDS. You can start your trial for just $1 and see how it helps you automate and scale your dropshipping business and allow you to invest your time into growing your empire or having more time to spend with your family and friends while your business is continuing to run and scale and optimize in the background. Now, once you connect to AutoDS, you'll have the marketplace right here, just like I showed you the winning products here on the left side. You'll have the dashboard where you can see all of your business metrics all in one place, even if you have multiple Etsy stores or multiple stores in different marketplaces like an eBay store, an Etsy store, a Facebook store. You can control it all under one screen. And in the orders menu on AutoDS, here's where you can see all of the orders that came into your Etsy account. So when you make a sale, you'll go to the order screen and you'll see the order here. When you click on the order details, you'll get all of the buyer's order details, their names, their address, where they're shipped to, and of course the product that sold, which supplier it came from, how much profit you made, and so forth. Now, if you have automatic orders or fulfilled by AutoDS set up, then your orders will be automated for you as soon as they come in, they will be processed and sent out to your buyers. The difference between automatic orders and fulfilled by AutoDS is that in automatic orders, AutoDS will use your buyer accounts to log into your supplier's websites and purchase the product using your payment settings, where Whereas in Fulfilled by AutoDS, all you have to do is top up your balance on the AutoDS wallet, which I talked about earlier. And as soon as an order comes in, it will process out using your balance, which you can see your balance status up here. And you can always continue to load more balance. And the only thing that you need besides balance is auto order credits. Each order costs one auto order credit, which is a few cents. And that's pretty much all that there is to it. Your orders will be processed 100% automatically, even while you're away from your computer. And this is another significant time-saving feature that will help you scale your dropshipping business and profit much more in the long run. And another thing that I wanna add on the order screen is the order statuses, which update automatically if you've got automatic orders or fulfilled by AutoDS. So the order will come in in pending or sent to auto order, and it will turn to ordered once it was ordered. On Etsy, as soon as it's shipped, you're gonna have to go to your supplier's website, get the tracking information and add it to your Etsy seller account because Etsy at this point does not support automatic tracking updates, but your order will still be automated and the buyer will get their orders really, really quickly without you having to do anything besides update tracking information. The order statuses start in pending, they move to ordered once the order was ordered, shipped once there's tracking information available, and delivered once it was delivered to the end customer. And of course, you also have the products. So here I can actually see the products that I have on my Etsy store. So if I go back to Etsy and I click on listings, you can see that the listings that I have right here Okay, except for the handmade bag, which was the first product that I uploaded manually, which I explained in the beginning of this video. Besides that, we have these four products that I uploaded using dropshipping suppliers, like I talked about. And these are the same four products that we can see right here in my products page. So all of the changes that I need to make, I can make it right here on AutoDS. For example, I can click on these lobster clasps and here I can completely optimize the product, like the name, the category belongs under the tags, the shipping policies, price monitoring, stock monitoring, automatic orders, the product's description, the variations that come with it, the product's images, and we also have an advanced image editor where we can completely optimize the product's image, add logos, add text, add icons, do whatever we want with it so that we can have a nice, unique image. And like I showed you, you can completely optimize your product from here. You can even add more variations and to make it even more special, you can add different variations from different suppliers in different regions around the world and put it all under the same product listing. This way you'll have a unique product page that no other seller has out there. And besides that, we have product drafts, which is usually where products go to when we import them to our store, optimize them, then we move them to our products page. And we have have more things like the AutoDS wallet to manage your finances, especially when you're fulfilling orders automatically. So you're going to connect to the AutoDS wallet, 
connect it with your Payoneer account, top up your balance to fulfill your orders automatically, and the system will do everything for you. And you have the AutoDS Academy, free courses, free content, free tutorials, on any selling channel that you need, under any category that you need, everything here is absolutely free for any and every AutoDS member. Okay, so that's a brief overview of the AutoDS menu. But now that we connected to AutoDS, let's connect it to our Etsy store. So right up here, I'm gonna click on Add Store or my Etsy shop because I already have a store. Then you're gonna click on Add Store right here. Then I'm gonna choose Etsy Store. Then you can see all of the selling channels that we can create a store on. eBay, Amazon, Shopify, WooCommerce, Wix, Facebook, but right now we're on Etsy. So we're gonna click on Etsy and click on Continue. Now it's showing me an application would like to connect to your account. You're currently signed in as Liran at AutoDS.com. AutoDS is trying to connect to your account. We're gonna click on Grant Access. And lo and behold, that's all that it takes to connect your Etsy store to AutoDS and begin dropshipping automation. The first step that you're going to do after adding Etsy to your AutoDS store is product research using the product research methods and tools that I showed you. And now we're going to import our first product. So now just as an example, I'm gonna go with Walmart. Then I'm gonna go with jewelry beads, do it yourself. Okay, let's go with this one right here, 1,050 pieces selling for $12.98. Now, there are many ways that I can add this product to my store, but I'm definitely not gonna do it the manual way. I'm not gonna go to Etsy and create a new listing and then copy and paste the title and then look for the description and then copy and paste the description and then copy and paste all of the item specifications one by one and downloading all the images and uploading all of it to Etsy. This is gonna take a long, long time to import each product. And also what am I gonna do once the price here changes or once the stock status changes, I'm gonna to have to do that automatically on my store. So you can forget all of that, just copy the URL, then head back to AutoDS, click on add products, we're gonna go with single product. I'm gonna paste the URL right here and it automatically chose Walmart, United States as my supplier and region. Then I'm gonna click on edit now quick. Now in just a few seconds, the AutoDS system is grabbing all of the product information from Walmart or from whatever supplier you used and it's importing all that information into your dropshipping store. In my case, into my Etsy dropshipping store. So just a few seconds later, I can see the product now in the draft section on my AutoDS account. The same product that we have right here using our dropshipping supplier is now in the draft section of my store. So I'm gonna click on the arrow and now I'm gonna start optimizing the product. So here we can see that we have 140 characters, 140 letters that we can fill in in the title, but we've got way too much out of that. We exceeded the limit and we've also got the product description. So let's see how we can do all of that really quickly quickly with the help of artificial intelligence, which will help us create unique product listings much quicker than we would if we were to do everything by ourselves. So I'm just going to copy the title and I'm going to tell ChatGPT, rewrite this product description. I always like to use bullet points and emojis, make it engaging because I want my customers to actually like reading about my product and be interested in it and generate an Etsy listing title up to 140 letters or characters. Okay, then I'm going to paste the product's title. Then I'm going to go back and I'm going to copy also the description. So I'm going to copy that, paste it here. And now I gave ChatGPT all the product info and I asked it to rewrite it for me. So let's see what it's going to do in less than a second. So we already have a title, Sparkle and Shine with 1,050 pieces, wholesale crystal, and we have some nice shining diamond emojis. And here we have the product description which is being structurized for us and looks much, much better than what we're seeing right here, which is just some bullet lists and just a whole bunch of text crammed up together that I guarantee most of your buyers, most of your online shoppers are not going to read this. So now we're looking a product description that looks this good. Let me just copy that, okay? And let me put it right here where it belongs and see how this looks much better than what we just had. Looking for the perfect beads to elevate your do-it-yourself jewelry game, look no further than these six millimeter wholesale crystal glass beads. Here are some reasons why you'll love them. Then we've got the features in the bullet list, specifications structurized really nicely also in a bulleted list. Join the many satisfied customers who have saved money and found great products with the EEE kit. In this case, I would remove that. That's why it's good to go over your product descriptions and not just copy and paste everything because that's the name of the seller. Order now and start creating 
amazing, beautiful, sparkling jewelry today. And that's it. I'm gonna, just going to click on save just so that we can save this wonderful, wonderful description. Did we get a title? Yes, we did right up here. So let's also copy the title and paste it right here uh, under the product column. We got 83 out of 140 uh, characters filled in. We don't need to fill in the whole 140. You can add more things to the title if you want, but I'm going to keep it this simple. And as you can see, the product tags were automated for me. So later on, when I go to the product section of my store, I can filter to see only how the arts, crafts and sewing tag went, for example, or beading and jewelry making. And this way I can categorize my products page and analyze each category or each tag specifically and see which one is working really well for my store. And besides that, we've got the shipping methods, the shipping policies, which I'm going to go over soon, the stock monitoring, price monitoring, automatic orders, which I'm going to leave on, and the variations. So here we've got three variations, 1,050 pieces, 1,200 pieces, and 401 pieces, all that come with their own prices. As we can see right here in the main listing, we've got these three variations. So they will all be imported to our store. And of course, we've got the products images. So all of this was automated for us 100%. Didn't have to do anything except click those two buttons to import this product to my store. So now I'm just going to click on save and import and this product will import to the product section of my store, meaning now it's going to go live and I'll also be able to see it on my Etsy store. And as we can see right here, the import process is complete. So the product was imported to my Etsy store. Let's go to Etsy and check it out. So here I am in the product section of my Etsy store. I'm going to click on refresh and lo and behold, here we go. Sparkle and shine. This is that jewelry bid kit that we just added to our stores. Okay, so here we can see the Etsy listing and we can see that all the images uploaded automatically. If we had a video, of course, we can also add it here and the listing details. So we've got the products title right here. The category is under jewelry. We've got the craft type. So it's jewelry making. Everything here was automated. I didn't have to do anything. The renewal options, as we can see right here, is manually. So this one will expire on August 3rd. Today is April 3rd while I'm recording this video. So we've got four months ahead. August 3rd is when we'll have to manually re-upload this listing or we can change it to automatic renewals. But this, of course, will do it automatically. So if we forget about it, we're going to get charged 20 cents for this listing. So for now, I'm going to keep it on manual. Then the type, is it a physical product? Is it a digital? Of course, it's a physical product. So again, everything is automated. And here is the product's description. So as you know, ChatGPT really helped us out creating a very, very nice product description, absolutely unique that no other seller has. And as I continue scrolling down, we can see all of the different variations right here. So the three variations, all of them got imported the right way. And I haven't touched the pricing yet, but I'll show you soon on AutoDS how you can set all of that. And of course you can do it there and it'll update here automatically. And that's pretty much it. Besides of course the delivery policies, the shipping policies, the returns and the item location, all of which you already configured in Etsy settings. But let me show you how to do that really quick. So now the product is live on our store. Anybody can purchase it. I'm going to show you really quick how you can set your break even and your pricing for your products. And I'm going to come back here and show you how you can set your shipping payment and return policies. OK, so back to AutoDS, I'm going to click on settings and here I'm going to set my supplier settings for every time I choose a product from Walmart, for example, to my Etsy shop. And of course I can add more suppliers so I can add any one of AutoDS's 25 plus dropshipping suppliers from the different regions that we can import their products from and set whatever policies we want whatever payment settings, break even and all of that since it differs from supplier to supplier. So for now, we're going to stick to Walmart to Etsy. And in this case, I'm going to say that the default product quantity, in that case, you should have seen that I have 10 variations in stock for each unit because I have 10 here on the default product quantity. So I can change that to five or do whatever. I can choose whatever shipping method I want from Walmart. So I want AutoDS in this example to grab the cheapest shipping method as long as tracking information is available and the shipping policies, which I'll show you soon advanced list of settings, which I won't go over now. And the pricing is what I talked about. So here, for example, we're going to go with a 20% break even. Okay. Cause let's say, you know what, let's turn off those offsite ads. Let's go with just 15%. And on top of my break, even I want to make another 40% in profit and another 30 cents fixed price. Cause that's what I'm paying for every transaction. I'm going to pay that fee. So I want to waive that off. So in this case, if, if a product costs me $100, I'm going to have to sell for $165 to make my extra 40% in profit. Now here I can also do many things like I can set price automation settings. So for example, I can add dynamic profit. So if the product costs anywhere between uh, zero to a hundred dollars, then I want to make 40% uh, profit and another 30 cents. And I can continue moving around with this. So if it costs, 
anywhere between 100 to 150, then I can make 35% in profit and another 30 cents and so forth. And you can also set a price sense value. So I want every product to finish with 0.97 cents, for example. And I also wanna include the shipping price inside. So if the supplier, for example, wants to charge me $5 for shipping and the product costs me $20, so instead of it being 20 plus five, it's gonna be 25 as a source price. And on top of that, I'm gonna offer free shipping because I included the supplier shipping price inside my source price. So to my customers, I'm gonna offer free shipping and that's gonna look much, much better. So now I'm gonna click on save. And now every time I add a product from Walmart to Etsy, these are the pricing settings that I'm gonna have. Now, besides that, I also have the order settings. I have the general settings. I'm not gonna go over that now, but if you want information, if there's anything that you feel that I left out, you can just ask me and I will answer you in the comment section below. So that's how easy it was to add that product to my store. I simply click on add products, click on single product and put the URL right here. Now there are multiple import settings in AutoDS. For example, I can go with multiple products and let's say here I want to add products from multiple suppliers or multiple products from one supplier. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy the URL. I'm going to add it here and I'm going to make a line break and move over to the next product, whatever it may be. Let's say it's this DIY jewelry kit. I want to add this one too. Click on the product, click on the URL, copy it, paste it right here and continue. I can go with different suppliers for every line break, same supplier, different products, whatever. And once I'm done, I'm just gonna click on add as a draft and they're all gonna go to the draft section of my store. And on top of that, I can even download and install the AutoDS Chrome dropshipping helper extension. And with the help of that extension, I can grab everything that I can see on a search page. For example, let's go back to the search page on Walmart and we can see all of the DIY beats that we can get from Walmart. And we've got the AutoDS icon right here. So I'm just gonna click on extract now, all of the 54 products that I have here have been extracted into this little extension. Now I can continue, I can move on to more pages, continue at clicking on extract to accumulate more and more product IDs here. And Walmart is just one small example of a supplier that you can use. But once again, we've got over 25. You don't have to use retail suppliers. We have wholesale suppliers. We have private suppliers inside the marketplace, which I already talked about. But this is just a quick example. Then we're gonna click on export as CSV. Then a CSV file will be automatically created and downloaded onto my computer with all of the 54 products. Then we're going to head back to AutoDS and on add products, I'm going to click on upload CSV and I'm going to drag and drop or open up my file browser window, navigate to that CSV file, double click on it, processing CSV. And in just a second, the file is uploaded, add as a draft. And that's how easy it is to add 50, 100, 1000, or even 10,000 products, even though that's not really smart because you're going to pay 20 cents for each listing. But if you know that those products are proven winners, that's how easy it is to add them in bulk to your Etsy store. And you can also use the one click importer, but I'm not going to demonstrate all of the importing methods. If you want it, let me know in the comments below. I'll send you a link to all the import methods that we have, but that's how easy it is to add products with full automation from AutoDS to your Etsy dropshipping store. Now let's go over the store policies. How do we actually set those policies? So what I'm going to do on Etsy under my shop manager is scroll down to settings and let's start with the delivery settings. So here you're going to have your delivery profiles. I'm going to create a new profile so you'll see how to do it from scratch. So I'm going to click on create profile country of origin. So where are you shipping these items from? In this case, let's go with United States and we're going to add a zip code in the US because we may not know exactly which warehouse is going to come out of. So use a zip code in the US and processing time. How long will it take you to ship out that order? Or in other words, how long will it take you to provide tracking information? Okay, in this case, let's go with three to five business business days, since I know that Walmart in this example is going to ship out that quickly. And then we've got the standard delivery. So what is a delivery service that you are going to offer? Now, in this case, we can't know for sure that we're going to get a USPS or a FedEx or a UPS tracking number. So we can go with other, then select a delivery time. The delivery time is how long it will take the item to reach the buyer's address once the item actually ships out. So let's say you gave it three days handling time. So that's three days. Now, after those three days, how many more days for it to deliver to the customer? So in this case, let's say another three to five business days. Okay. And in this case, we're going to offer free shipping. So instead of giving a fixed price, we're going to offer free delivery. Since this Etsy account was opened up in the United Kingdom, then it's also asking me about my domestic delivery service. So in this case, I'm going to say other and about three to five free delivery. 
now everywhere else. So worldwide delivery, can you ship globally? If your supplier can, then again, you're gonna go with other and give it a delivery time. In this case, I would say 10 to 30 days since it's worldwide, you don't know how long it's gonna take and you're gonna offer free delivery or maybe you're gonna charge for shipping. In this case, you can say exactly how much you want to charge, okay? You can add another location if you want. If you wanna be able to ship to a specific country or location that's not worldwide, you can do so here. And if you wanna give a faster delivery option, you can do so. That's a trick that I like to do also on eBay where I can say, okay, your item is gonna ship out within 10 days, but if you pay another $5, it's gonna ship out within six days. But either way, it's gonna ship out within six days. Okay, so you can do that here and the name of your profile. Okay, so in this case, US and worldwide, call it whatever you want save your profile and that's pretty much it now we have another profile called us and worldwide with the processing time three to five business days and how many active listings you have with that policy in this case i've got five listings which you already saw on my etsy account that have the regular usa shipping policy but this is how you can create another policy and of course i can move those active listings to this shipping policy if i wanted to do so okay so that's how easy it is to create your shipping policies now let's go back to the settings and create our policy settings or in other words, what do we do when it comes to returns and exchanges? Okay, so let's go ahead and create a new policy here. So I'm gonna click on create policy. And here you're gonna specify if you accept returns. So if your supplier allows you to return the item, then you're also gonna allow the buyer to return the item. The better service you can give the buyer, the higher the chances that you're gonna make more sales and of course more profit. So here, for example, I do accept the returns of this item. Exchanges, I accept exchanges. So when the customer returns a product, I can either send them a refund or send out an exchange, another product instead. And buyers must contact me and send the item back within how long? So do you wanna give them seven day returns, 30 day returns, 90 day returns, that is completely up to you. So you can choose it right here in the drop down menu. In this case, I'm going to keep it on 30 days of delivery and the conditions of the return. You can't really touch this. The buyer is responsible for return postage costs, even though you can still offer free returns and let the buyer know, Hey, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to pay for your return label, but only do that if you're going to get a free return from your supplier too. And buyer is responsible for loss in value as agreed upon with seller. If an item isn't returned in its original condition. Okay. Okay, so you can refund a smaller amount if you want, especially if your supplier is not going to give you a full refund too. Okay, then we're going to go with save and apply. Well, in this case, I already have a policy with those policies, so it's not going to let me create a duplicate, but of course I can do it again. In this case, I'm going to go with 60 days returns, then I'm going to click on save and apply. And of course, success, your policy is set. Okay, now I don't have any listings with that policy. You can see right here that I have my 30 days in exchanges and I got my 60 days with no active listings inside that policy. Okay, so that is how you can create your returns and exchanges policy. So we learned how to create our shipping policies, our return policies, how to create our seller account, how to research the right products to sell, how to add products to Etsy, how to optimize our product pages, what we can sell, what we can sell, and everything that goes along with that. So now that we understand on Etsy how to set our shipping policy and our return policies and then we can use those policies when importing those products on our AutoDS account we can choose that specific policy what do you actually do once a buyer reaches out to you and wants to return the product you, I mean you've got the policy but how do you actually go around with the return and replacement so if you offer free returns in your store policies as you can see right here in the cheat sheet all you have to do is coordinate with the buyer through Etsy's messages and send a return label there are no cases like there are on eBay so the buyer is simply going to reach out to you and you're going to have to enter them so provide Providing customer service is one of the most important things when it comes to handling your Etsy seller account. If you want to make your sales and profits and keep your Etsy seller account healthy and active for years and years on end, you have to provide excellent customer service. And the way to do that is to check messages from your buyers every day. I showed you where the messages section is in your Etsy dashboard. So take advantage of that and make sure that at least once per day, you're going through your messages to see if you have anything that your buyers need from you. So once again, if you offer free returns, Returns, you're going to have to get the return label from your supplier and send it to the buyer through Etsy's messaging service. Then once the item is returned, since you've got the tracking information on the return label, you can track it. And once you see that it was returned to your supplier, your supplier will send you a refund and you will send a refund to your Etsy customer. Now, if you offer paid returns, which means you will return the product, but the buyer is going to pay for it, then in this case, you simply need to send the buyer the return address. The buyer is going to let you know what the tracking information number is, and you're going to track the shipment. Once it returns to your supplier, same thing. You're going to get a refund and you can issue the refund to your Etsy customer as well. And if you don't offer returns at all, well, you can just tell the buyer that you do not offer returns and it says so in your policies. But what happens to the fees that you paid Etsy? You already 
already paid the 6.5% transaction fee, you already paid the 4% payment processing fee, and any other fee that you had to pay on top of that, maybe an ad fee or anything else. So if you send a refund to the buyer, how about you getting a refund from Etsy? So you don't really have to worry about that because once you send a refund through the Etsy shop manager, Etsy will reimburse your seller account with the seller fees that were associated with that order. However, there are sellers who offer returns for more than 180 days. That's more than six months. So if you're one of those sellers that's giving the customers this great advantage in your service, if you send a refund after 180 days, you cannot send that refund through the Etsy shop manager. It's got a limit of 180 days. Once you exceed that, you'll have to send the buyer a refund through PayPal or any other payment processing service. And in this case, Etsy will not reimburse you for your selling fees. So think really hard before you decide to give more than 180 days returns. In my case, it's best to give 30 to 60 days if your supplier can offer it. And that's really all that you need to provide great customer service and gain the customer's trust in purchasing from your store. And last but not least, I cannot wrap up this Etsy video without recommending some really, really good Etsy Chrome extensions to use for your store. I already talked about Etsy apps that you can integrate with on your store, but here I'm gonna talk about Chrome extensions, which is an extension, an add-on that you can add to Google Chrome that will help you with your Etsy dropshipping journey. Here's exactly what I mean. The first tool is the AutoDS dropshipping helper extension. I already talked about this one. This one is gonna help you not only with your product research, where you can search multiple suppliers for products under one search field, but it'll also help you import your product to your store, the one-click importer, the bulk importer. It also comes with a really easy to use address copier when an order comes in from any one of your customers and so much more on top of that. So we've got a link to that, of course, in the cheat sheet. Besides that, you also have Etsy Hunt. So Etsy Hunt is a great tool that you can use that will help you with your product research. I'm not gonna go too deep into it. You have the link to it once again. And then you have two more tools. One is called Toolsy, which will help you rank higher in Etsy's search engine. So it's an SEO tool that will help your product pages rank even higher. And we've got Marketsy, which downloads all of your Etsy's customers' email addresses, which you can then use to send email marketing campaigns, which is another great marketing strategy that you can use today, which doesn't really cost any money because sending an email is free. The only thing that you'll need is customers to buy from your store. Then you'll have their email addresses and you can use this tool to export their emails so that you'll be able to send them email marketing campaigns. So you have, once again, the links to all those tools in the Etsy dropshipping cheat sheet, which you can get by simply commenting hashtag Etsy 2023. Let me know what you learned from this video. What is your top takeaway? And once again, I'm more than happy to send you this cheat sheet with everything that I talked about in this video, all the resources, all the tools, and all the links. And that wraps up this video on how to start dropshipping on Etsy. I hope that you found it super informational and that all of your questions were answered. If not, let me know below in the comment section and I will personally answer them. Good luck selling on this wonderful, wonderful marketplace. And once again, if you want access to this cheat sheet, including everything that I went over in this video with all of the resources, tools, and links to help you start the right way in the right structure, all you have to do is comment hashtag Etsy 2023. Let me know what is your top takeaway from this video, what you learned from it, and I will send you the link to this very cheat sheet that will take you from beginner to pro. Thank you for watching this video. Good luck dropshipping on Etsy, and I cannot wait to hear about your success story.